If you spend any time at all on LinkedIn, you've probably come across scammers whether you know it or not. In this video, I'll give you the six biggest signs someone might be a scammer and then I'll show you a couple of examples. <music> I know what you're thinking. I thought LinkedIn was perfect. Everything works perfectly on there and I love every second that I spend on the platform. But sadly, yes, there are scammers on LinkedIn. A lot of times these scammers will pretend to be recruiters and then try to trick you in order to gain your information or acquire payment. But don't fear, once you know what to look for, these fake recruiters are super easy to spot. So in a few minutes, I'll show you an example of a fake post as well as a fake profile. But first, here are six things to check whenever you're approached by a recruiter on LinkedIn. Thing to look for number one is their profile was created in the previous or current month. This is because eventually enough people will report their profile that LinkedIn will remove it. So they have to keep creating these fake profiles in order to keep tricking people. So if you're approached by someone who created their LinkedIn profile within the last month or two, I highly recommend you stay away. Thing to look for number two is scammers will add a fake link to their bio that says 500 plus connections. As you may know, once you reach 500 or more connections on LinkedIn, you have a little thing that says 500 plus connections. And this is a really good sign that somebody is well established on the platform. So in order to fool you, a lot of recruiters will add a link to their profile. And whenever you add a link, you can add whatever text you want. So they will just write 500 plus connections, but it won't be in the normal place where it normally tells you that you have 500 connections. So be sure not to follow this. This is something that I've seen over and over again. And again, you just got to know what you're looking for. Thing to look for number three is don't trust a recruiter with a non-professional email ending with their company's website at the end of their email address. So what you'll see a lot of times is these fake recruiters will do these posts and they will ask you to email them, but it won't be a normal email. Like for me, it would be elijah.butler at amazon.com. It would be something like, Elijah64238 at gmail.com. Do not trust somebody that doesn't have a company email address. One funny thing that you'll see from time to time is these fake recruiters will create a new LinkedIn profile, but will not create a new email address. So their name might be John Burks, but their email address will be Tiffany24862 at gmail.com. And it always cracks me up when I see this. Thing to look for number four is these fake recruiters will create a lot of posts that include tons of keywords and job titles in order to scam as many people as possible. One way that you can find jobs on LinkedIn is by using LinkedIn's native search function. And I show you how to do this in my how to find jobs video in this series. But a way that these fake recruiters will trick people is they will include as many job titles and keywords as they can. So that way they have as many people see their post as possible and therefore can trick as many people as possible. So if you see somebody that says, hey, I'm hiring for these 50 different positions, that is probably fake. And you'll probably see one of those fake emails attached to those posts as well. Thing to look for number five is these fake recruiters will share or comment on as many posts as possible. It's usually something like I am hiring, send me a DM. So that way they can get you off of LinkedIn's comments and into the DM so they can again, try to trick you and fool you that they're a real recruiter. A good way that you can spot this is if you go to somebody's profile, you can scroll down and see their activity. So you can look at both their posts that they share as well as the comments they make. So if they have shared or commented the same thing over and over and over again, usually word for word, that person is a scammer. Finally, sign number six is they have really bad spelling or grammar. Any recruiter that is an actual recruiter knows how prevalent all of these scammers are. So they know that they need to have really good spelling and grammar because a lot of times these scammers don't. So if you receive a message about a job and you just can't read it, there's a bunch of errors, there's a bunch of misspellings and stuff. That isn't a promise that this is a scammer, but it very likely is. A lot of these recruiters spend a lot of their time communicating, whether it's verbally or writing. So they're usually very good writing. And again, they know that they have to stand out from the scammers to get responses for jobs. So if you see somebody that reaches out to you that has really bad spelling or grammar, I would personally just move on from that because again, they're probably a scammer. 
I could probably think of even more signs, but these are definitely the six that I see the most. So now that we know what to look for, let's look at it a couple examples. All right, here's a great example of a fake post trying to trick people. So the first thing I notice is this non-professional email address. If this person was really working at Unilever, they would be at unilever.com. And since they are not, I would already not trust this. Second, notice they're missing a bracket right here. Again, that just shows a lack of attention to detail. And then right here is exactly what I was saying. They post as many different job titles as possible. So if someone is searching like I did, hiring data analyst or hiring any kind of job title on LinkedIn, they, this post will pop up so that way this person can trick people. So coming to this person's profile, I noticed that this person is listed as Mike at Unilever. It doesn't even say recruiter at Unilever. So that's another very obvious sign. If you come to more here, we can look at about this profile. And here you can see they joined September 2025. I am making this video in September of 2025. So they obviously just created this profile. And then finally, a couple of other obvious tells. Again, they are doing this same post over and over and over again. All of it is just copy and pasted to trick as many people as possible. So again, one of the signs that we talked about. And then you can also see that they have three followers. And I'll be honest, uh, recruiters get bothered all of the time on LinkedIn. So if you're a recruiter on LinkedIn and you're legit, you're probably going to have a lot of followers. So this three follower count is also a huge red flag. Here's one more I want to show because this one could be just a little bit trickier because of this email address. So as you can see, this one isn't at Gmail or anything else obvious. It is at next-steps-careers.com, which theoretically could be a real website. But first of all, I don't trust the dashes in here. And also, if this person is a recruiting specialist for one specific company, this Northrop Grumman, then they're going to have an email address at that, not at this next step careers. And again, we see that they have a bunch of different job titles right here to bring in as many people as possible. They have a bunch of these different hashtags to try to bring in people. And then if we come to their profile, we can see that they're sharing the same post every several minutes. And then the single most obvious thing you should always check is when their profile was created. And again, this one was created this month. This is the best thing to check because again, these recruiters will eventually get kicked off of the platform. So even if you get reached out to by a seemingly good recruiter, I always still come and check this just as my first thing to look for when trying to spot a scam. And then finally, I wanted to show you how the 500 connection scam would work that I mentioned earlier on in this video. So as you can see right here, I have 500 plus connections and this is how it would look like. But I also have this link right here that says best data analyst resources. And this link is where a fake recruiter could write 500 plus connections to trick you. So just know the difference and how those look like and make sure they aren't trying to spam that 500 plus connections. I honestly think LinkedIn has cracked down on this some because I don't see this as much anymore, but still it's something great to look out for. Anyway, I hope you found this video super helpful to spot fake recruiters on LinkedIn. In case you didn't know, this video is part of my free LinkedIn optimization course right here on my YouTube channel. So be sure to go check out all of the other videos if you haven't already. And whether you want to be a great data analyst or LinkedIn user, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. I post a brand new video every single week helping you become the best that you can be. And with that, I'll see you next week.